my name is Nico Boden, I'm from Univention. Um, I want to give you a short um, overview on what is possible with Nextcloud and how you can set up Nextcloud in an active directory environment and much more whether how you can do it easily and more maintainable. Um, typically, well, the first thing, the scope. The scope is um, user identities are, let's say, in your Microsoft Active Directory and you want them, those users to be able to log into Nextcloud. The usual step, what you are doing is you set up Nextcloud that involves typically a Linux server like Debian or Ubuntu, you install Nextcloud on it, you do all the configuration, you do all the configuration for the LDAP setup and AD, and finally the user can log in. This typically, I estimate, would take you one to two hours depending on your environment, the, the configuration there, on your know-how, and uh, yeah, basically the, the uh, limits on this. And the challenges are, all the, those are all limited steps, those uh, manual steps, they are, can be quite error prone, and um, know-how about LDAP and Active Directory uh, is quite helpful for doing such setups. So now let's change some, some uh, prerequisites for it. The scope is the same, and what you change is you download the Nextcloud appliance from the Nextcloud website, and this appliance is based on Univention Corporate Server. Um, which is basically um, a Debian derivative. And the advantage here is Univention Corporate Server already includes all the connections, all the things that you need to connect to an Active Directory server or do other things what I will come up later. The estimated effort for this setup is about 20 minutes and afterwards all the users that you have in your um, Active Directory can log in to Nextcloud. The benefits here is different scenarios are possible, later more, and Nextcloud is already configured so that all the users can log in with a cent uh, through the central identity management and um, you can really manage them centrally in your environment. And the scenarios um, are, as you see here, the, well, the first one that um, may come up to most of them is of you is you have the appliance based on UCS in um, an Active Directory environment where UCS is just part of an Active Directory. It's called an AD member. Um, you can use all the users that are in your Active Directory uh, system and they can log in. The second option is you want to, there are many different reasons, you want to have two separate domains and just use the users and the groups that are in your Active Directory and you synchronize them to the appliance or to UCS and have two separate environments. The third one is um, a standalone installation which comes by default um, when you do not change any settings in, during the setup. And the fourth one is you can even use the appliance or UCS itself, um, Unimension Corporate Server, to migrate your working and running Active Directory environment and migrate it to Univention Corporate Server and do a drop-in replacement. Without going to your, let's say, Windows clients and changing some settings there, you can just um, change it in place. And what we are using here on this is basically everything you know from that world is Samba 4, LDAP, Kerberos, and all this technology that is out there, and it's integrated in UCS, and Nextcloud benefits from it because it's just integrated with UCS and using, using it from there. So that's all for me. Just go to the website of Nextcloud and download the appliance and try it all on your own.